welcome to another edition of the Interstellar Modeler. Today I'm going to be featuring the Cylon Raider from the Reimagined Galactica series. Uh, this is the Mobius uh, Models Kit. measures about 12 inches in diameter. Overall, not a very complicated model to put together. Um, it, you can uh, really piece this together really within a short time. Uh, it comes with the wing pieces that you see here, the turrets, the headpiece, and of course the engines. And you can see overall it's a pretty nice looking kit. Um, makes a nice replica, very close to what you see on screen. And uh, one of the things I really like about this model are the crisp lines that you have here um, that uh, show off all the panels on the surface. And here's the underside. Um, you can see some nice um, lines again here that highlight all the panels. And some pretty basic colors were used, so let me just kind of go over those real quick. Uh, for the whole body, um, I use this uh, color from Tamiya um, Paints and it is called um, Bare Metal Silver. Um, again, I really like working with Tamiya paints because they're uh, very easy to spray on. Um, they dry very quickly, and unlike metalizer paints, um, you can't really leave any fingerprints on the surface. The um, darker highlights that you see here and here uh, were painted with the Tester's uh, Metalizer Magnesium paint. And these darker accents here were painted with the uh, gunmetal uh, metalizer paint from Testers. So, uh, what you see here then is a ship that looks like it just came off the assembly line, and what I want to do now is to try to uh, weather the model a little bit. So I thought this would be a good opportunity to show you how I use pastels to do that. And so what I'm going to do is use pastels um, along some of these corners here, and um, some of these panel areas right here, um, and of course certainly the engine areas uh, to uh, dirty up the model a little bit. Now there are a lot of different examples that you can find online uh, that show how uh, people detailed this ship, and this is one example that I, that I liked. Um, what I like here are the uh, shading that you see along the panels there, just to give it a little more depth and a little more character. And uh, so that's what we're going to try right now. I'm going to go ahead and uh, give this a shot uh, using pastels and masking off these different panels. All right, so uh, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so what I've done here was I've isolated this panel using masking tape. And I'm going to go ahead now and take the pastel and apply it along this edge here just to give it that shading. Okay, so what I have here is pastel that I've grounded up onto this sandpaper. And so I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, apply to the brush here. Okay, and then we're going to kind of just gently kind of dab it along the edge here. Like so. Oops, sorry. There we go. Like that. And just going to feather it back like this. Okay, and here are the two panels that have uh, been finished now. You can see it's darkened along the edge here, and I'm going to finish it a little bit more. But hopefully you can tell in this lighting that it's um, a little darker along that edge panel. So, Okay, so here I've added um, a good amount of the pastel. And what I'm going to do now is just simply blow on it to get rid of all this excess. And you can see it leaves a... Um, a darkened area here so what you need to do is just feather that and you just do that by just gently applying your brush like this and just kind of brushing it backwards in kind of a windswept pattern that way it uh, graduates to a lighter color as you get further away from the edge of that panel line Okay, and I've decided to put some rubber gloves on so that I didn't leave any fingerprints on here. Um, but uh, again here, this is this panel that's been dusted here as well, and along here, um, and along these areas too. So I'm going to continue to highlight the model this way, and then I'll show you when it's completed. Uh, what I'm going to eventually do though is also add just a little bit of splotching here and there just to kind of dirty up the surface a little bit, and then maybe we'll add a few laser marks. Um, um, before we're done here. Okay, so you can see how different it looks from when we started. And so what I've continued to do here, besides highlight the, the uh, panel lines and all that, is I've been applying some 
splotches of um, pastels just randomly, um, just to maybe look, make some burn marks here. And it's a matter of just darkening your brush a little bit with the pastel. And you can see how it looks a little bit singed here. So I just start off by kind of grinding my brush into the model and then just kind of feathering it like this uh, back just like that. And uh, you'll notice that it creates just those little dark splotches that um, uh, give it just that weathered look like it's been through a fight here and there. Um, kind of flown through some explosions and so forth. And um, you can kind of do this in a random sort of pattern. And sometimes what I notice too is that when I'm painting a model and maybe there's some imperfections on the surface, um, I try to take advantage of those and um, you know definitely cover it with uh, or utilize pastels to to make it look like it's supposed to look that way. So for example here there was a um, splotch on the paint and so rather than trying to paint that over what I'm going to do is just continue to highlight it with a little bit more pastels. Just like that. And then it turns more into a burn mark or a, or the ship's been scorched there or the, the hull was hit by something of a high velocity maybe chipped the hull. Okay, so you remember what the model looked like when we started the video and uh, how different it looks now. We've added a lot more character to a paint scheme that was pretty simple. Uh, the paint scheme, as I showed you, was made up of just basically three colors and added a lot more character. Uh, you can see how the pastels uh, do an, add a nice touch with um, darkening the panel lines here and giving it some, some burn marks along here and so forth. So um, it's looking pretty good here. Um, taking advantage of all those lines that we talked about and giving it some extra shading here um, made the model look a bit more sinister. Uh, so what I'm going to do is uh, turn it over and start applying some pastels to the underside. And um, before I do that though, I'm going to go ahead and coat this with a semi-gloss coat so that uh, it won't get messed up as we're uh, proceeding with the rest of the ship. Okay, so this of course is the underside of the ship, and uh, just trying to think ahead here of where I'd like to go and apply pastels. Um, what I'd like to do here is accent these areas here, and here, and here. I mean, this model has some nice contour to begin with, and uh, by doing so, it's just going to add a bit more depth to the model. Um, along the panel lines, we're going to continue to work here and here. Uh, actually, I already started on this panel and um, maybe add a few blast points like here or here, I don't know. Um, just kind of see how it goes along and certainly I'll smudge it up a bit just like we did on the, on the top side. Um, again, dirtying up the engines here and here so that it makes it look like there's, you know, um, exhaust and all that sort of stuff uh, uh, on that side of the ship. And then certainly these intakes too, we're gonna dirty up a little bit here and maybe add some windswept marks along here and here. And let me show that one more time here. So again, I've applied pastel along here. Okay. Just blow that ex excess off there again. All right. And then after you've cleaned up your brush a bit here, you're just gonna feather that back like so. Okay, moving right along here, um, I'm now adding pastel to this section right here. And so what I do is I just take a bunch of it here and just dab it into place like that. Make it nice and dark. Okay, and just kind of rub your brush into it so that, that it gets ingrained into the surface. And then you just blow off the excess. Okay, and then all you have to do again is just feather it back from where you applied the uh, where you applied the pastel in with. All right, so here we have the underside finished. Here, hopefully, you can see the darkened accents that have been added with the pastels and uh, let me just show you a before and after picture. So I hope this tutorial helped you out with um, how to use pastels. I've been using this technique for a long time. Um, with something that's so simple and easy and inexpensive you can add a lot more detail and character to your model. So if you have any questions just let me know and I appreciate you watching. I'll see you in the next video. Thanks.